What's going on, Flow Gang? I just watched the Netflix adaptation of the new Avatar show, and let me tell you guys exactly why I rated it a 10 out of 10, baby. Let's go. First and foremost, this is going to be a new series on the channel, you guys. I'm going to be calling this series The Common take by your common man i am in no way an actor a director a producer or any of those things or anything like that maybe one day hey if you guys see me cast me i already know but i'm not any of those things this is a common guy's take on movies uh anime tv shows manga anything a bunch of different things you name it video games and I, i'm gonna be calling it the common take at least that's uh the name that i thought of and uh without further ado let's just hop into the video so the first reason that i gave the show the 10 out of 10 rating that i did is because of the you guys when I tell you that they casted these characters damn near perfectly I want to tell you that they casted them damn near perfectly because they really did a great job on characters like Zuko on characters like even even Aang like I was really scared um, that they were gonna mess it up just like they did in the movie but they did not they delivered on the Aang character he's the perfect age the perfect size the perfect just type of character in general like his character arc everything that he stands for he plays a very very good Aang and you really have to watch the show to kind of know what I'm talking about but you'll see that from your first episode you know his empathy is there his rage and needs a little bit of work and things and things like that but he is doing a really great job as the character thus far in season one I wanted to talk a little bit more about my favorite character in the show which I actually never thought this would ever happen but it's Zuko yo like for whatever reason I just find him tragically funny like he is hilarious like in everything that he says and does and I just don't remember him being that funny in the show like in the cartoon but he is hilarious in the, in the real life adaptation. Kitaro, she did a really great job. The actress, she did amazing. Her and Sako, or Sokka, really did a really great job at sort of capturing that, uh, you know, the fear of what happened to them, you know, in their childhood and in their past, um, you know, with the, the Southern Water Tribe, you know, getting attacked and them losing um, both of their parents or at least their mom that they know of. And they did a really good job at portraying, you know, that fear and that PTSD. And in that that they also did a really good job at like being Aang's friend and like kind of showing you the guitar and Sokka that we know from the you know cartoon so Sokka could have been a little bit more funnier you know they could have given him you know some better jokes and things like that but Sokka Sokka at the end of the day can't really hate him he's a pretty good well developed character you know as is um and then another character that was really really well casted was Zuko's uncle like Zuko's uncle was damn near perfectly casted like he did a really great job uh that guy deserves like an Emmy now you can't talk about the real life adaptation of Avatar if you don't talk about the CGI the elements and the way they were done was absolutely crisp like I, I like everybody knows what CGI is everybody knows you know when they see it they see it you know things like for example like the water beast could have been you know portrayed a little bit a little better like the elemental water beast when Aang fused with the water beast that could have been done a little bit better in my opinion but besides that the CGI for Appa the CGI for Momo the CGI for the air temple the CGI for Earth Kingdom and the, and the Fire Kingdom and just in general the characters like the elements like the way they were portrayed was really really crisp really really beautiful I didn't really notice too too much like crazy over the top CGI or nothing like that it was really well done and I also like that they didn't give you like everything in the beginning and this is a type of show that you will see more CGI as you go through with it and I was a little bit scared of that you know as Aang you know learns certain elements and things like that and like as the characters learn their own elements like how would they you know incorporate ice how would they incorporate earth how would they incorporate all these different things but I think they did a really really great job and even Earth's style they did a great job at like incorporating that they killed it for number three i'm sure some of you guys could have guessed this one but it's the story you guys like they did and are doing such a great job at like not leaving out key components of the story that we needed to see they're not leaving out like for example the cabbage guy bro like the guy still lost his cabbages like like ang still met his homeboy in the earth kingdom like everything like the flying kid like in the wheelchair like everything that you could think of that you wanted in the show is kind of in the show and they kind of incorporated it in like one of the best most perfect ways that they could have done it and that's why like it, it, comparatively to the movie you guys like I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have seen the movie and like when I was a kid and I, I was watching the movie I literally fell asleep that's how bad it was it was terrible and as a kid bro you know as a kid that feeling of going to the movie theater and watching a movie like you're gonna stay up you're gonna watch it especially if it's something you grew up watching bro it was it was it was terrible it was terrible but moving back on they didn't they didn't portray the story that way 
detail at all, but that's a whole different video I might do. I might rewatch the movie and, and then talk about that for you guys. But you guys, the storyline, like the way that he talks to the avatars, when he had Avatar Kiyoshi control him, for example, that was done really, really well. Again, back to point two with the CGI. Oh my God, they killed, like their his avatar state, they're doing a really great job at portraying that, his glowing arrows, just when when he got Kiyoshi to just, just go crazy on the fire, on the fire nation, like, oh my God, they like, they did a really good job at that. But back to the storyline, you guys, like they are doing a very beautiful job at portraying the story. I don't want to give away too much, you know what I'm saying? Because again, I want you guys to watch it for yourself. I know half of you guys probably haven't seen it, but they are doing a beautiful, beautiful job with the story. And I'll elaborate a little bit more on that when season two comes out, but let's just say they're doing a really great job. And for my fourth and final point, it kind of ties in with everything here. And that is the acting. Now the acting is absolutely amazing. For example, one of the characters that you need to actually be a very, very good actor. And a lot of people may not th like think about this, but Azula, Azula needs to be fierce. She needs to be scary. She needs to be literally the devil reincarnate and she needs to be crazy. And that is literally what she is in the very first season. You see how fearsome she could be. I'm scared of her, bro. I'm scared of her, bro. Like I'm scared of my girl too, but I'm scared of Azula, bro. Like, oh my God, bro. And then she did the lightning and she was going absolutely dummy, happy-go-lucky, stupid. So like you really need good acting in shows like these and re-adaptations like these. And the, the characters, again, did a very good job. Coming back to point one, like the characters, man, but the acting was absolutely superb, really portrayed very, very well. Um, you know, General Ozai, or not General Ozai, Fire Lord Ozai did a really great job at sort of giving us, you know, again, that fear, tyranny aspect that we need to see from the Fire Nation and the uh, pussy guard that he recruited. I don't know what his name was. Not a guard, but he turned into like a, an admiral, an admiral because he worked with Azula and things like that. And like that guy, like I, I hate that guy. That guy's terrible, but his acting was great. It makes like you have to hate people in shows for it to be a good show. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at Jeffrey Dahmer. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the show, you have to have people that you will love and people that you will hate and people that are just funny, people that are charismatic, you know, and the show, they do a very, very good job at that. I know I sound like a broken record saying how much they've done a good job, but they really have, you guys. Shows don't just get a 10 or movies don't just get a 10 from me or from anybody just like that. Like, they deserve it, bro. Like, I binged it and it was absolutely, like, I, there wasn't a moment where I was bored. I got goosebumps all the time. I teared up multiple times. Like, the acting was very very well done shout out to the director shout out to the whole crew and yeah guys uh subscribe if you guys want to see more of these videos definitely drop a like if we hit 15 likes or more i'll review the avatar movie for you guys and uh, i will go watch that uh, uh i'm gonna go watch it right now regardless but if we hit 15 likes i will review that for you guys right here live on the channel but if you guys like these videos again subscribe and stay tuned i love you all peace flow game